Hello everyone. I am going to attempt to record this video on my hair. First thing I'm doing right now is taking out old twists that were in my hair. Sorry for all the noise. First thing I'm doing right now is taking out old twists that was in my hair. Come a little closer and have you see me comb out the twist. These twists was in my hair. I had a did I did a wash and I put no nothing in my hair, no product but um oil, some hair milk by Crema Nature. Um, and some leave-in conditioner just so I can make sure it stays it was moisturized at least and so that's the only thing that I really did to my hair I'm combing this out before I blow out my hair because I do not want any of my hair to get tangled up into the uh, blow dryer nor I don't want all that excessive pulling and tension so I'm just really just trying to get all that out of my hair right now um, before I came on video I had already unraveled most of the twists as you can see the comb is going right through my hair um, this is the shedding so far that you can see on the comb I'm going to put this side back up I had already did the other two before I came on video And I'm going to start detangling or unraveling, whatever you want to call it, the back. Um, I will usually try to mist it a little bit, but again, I don't want to use as much heat on my hair. So that's why I don't want to mist it. My eyes, something in my eyes. So. Sorry. Um, trying to make sure that scalp part is as loose as possible. Um, so again, what you see me now is detangling my hair. And I'm detangling the back. I don't know how much you see that. Probably just rake my fingers through it a little. My middle is the thickest part of my hair. So you can see that that detangled pretty good. I'm just rubbing my fingers, making sure that all of the twists are out. So I'm going to put this back up. Clip that in. And now I'm going to try to blow dry the sections. This is a product that I have from Macadamia as that is my staple product. So this is the Macadamia, Macadamia Blow Dry Lotion. It serves as a smooth deep frizz thermo perfect. Um, it's color safe um, and it says that it's yeah thermo protector. And so this is how it looks, the bottle looks. So I'm just going to pump, not that much, but a little much on my hand, rub it into my hair, split it up because again my hair is very thick. Okay, 
I am going to take my attachment I always have trouble with this attachment it's a headache I am using the eighth the HFI flat form nano weight pro 1900 turbo sometimes and these are the gadgets sometimes I don't like it because this cool button here I accidentally press this through my blow dry all the time these are the temperatures from cool warm and high and then the bottom it goes off low and high and then this is the cool blow in the front and I again I struggle with this because I accidentally press buttons that I change the temperature on accident I don't know how I keep doing that but here I go with the blow drying I'm going to blow dry it on warm and low Hold on. Okay. you see it's going through pretty good taking my time with going through this up as you can see I have a lot of hair <clears throat> gonna try to split this up into a section and since majority of it again is gonna be uh, French braided is my thought I'm not gonna try to get this extremely straight see how it just went off I struggle with keeping it on the temperature on it so I'm gonna try to hold it, I'm gonna try to hold it like this. wonder why do I have it on warm since my hair is pretty much dry it's not damped or anything like that I have it on warm because of my scalp my hair is pretty thick and you cannot feel you can, cannot see the density on camera it's pretty 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 thick um, so that's why I have it on warm for my scalp mainly enough with that section. I'm going to try to twist it. I hope you can see it. I hope this bar is not in the middle of this whole video. Uh, twist it up. Clip it. Let me see if that, let me, if you don't mind, I'm going to do some adjustments. I just want to make sure the bar 
it's not in the way of the whole video. Sorry if I'm just now figuring that out. Um, I'm new to videos, so I'm trying my best. Uh, but also, I don't want to break my camera either. So, anyway. <clears throat> I can't reach my back that good, so I'm going to start over on this side. Again, straight, straight is not my goal here. It's just to blow it out so it can be more workable, better. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Later on today, my daughter has a sew-in. She's 17, but if you guys don't know, my daughter is special needs. She has cerebral palsy. Her hair was literally down her back, and I had put two texturizers on her hair in the summer because the humidity was so bad, and I found myself doing her hair a lot. Anyway, it's my fault. So I big chopped her hair. Um... So right now she has a sew in and I'm just going to put some rollers in it um, so it can be a little curly. Maybe put a headband for her to go to school in the morning because I left it up to her to try to, I left her a leave out and she doesn't do good with her leave out is, at all. So I might end up going to buy her a uh, closure to help with that problem but for now I need to put some curls in her hair. But anyway, back to me. You may find that I ramble on various topics. And that's because I just want to help as many naturals that I possibly can. Because I wanted to get, I personally want to give up on being natural every day. But for the fact that perms. I'm a candidate. I'm a person that perms do not take in my hair anyway. Even if I get a perm, my hair, and, I, and that's even professionally. I don't try to do any of my perms myself. In Kansas City, I went through various professionals. My hair was never straight. It was really thick. <clears throat> it was straight, but it didn't last. Let's just It felt just like my hair was natural, so what's the point? So I'm just trying to get used to this and have healthy hair, really. like so easy it went effortlessly better love the uh, lotion it's not weighing my hair down at all my hair feels so light it feels better than the leave-in uh, Giovanni the leave-in Giovanni that I used of course is just a leave-in conditioner but my hair my hair didn't feel moist it felt like I was using shampoo that stripped it um, so but it, it did feel weightless. But this feels weightless and my hair feels moisturized, if you get what I mean. So, here I go with the next square. Again, it's still on warm and low. I would normally do if I was to go back in and use my flat iron so maybe I will post another video of wash day um, my blowout and then my flat iron um, today right now these clip-ins is a trial and error I ordered these from irresistible me because I was hearing a lot about it from youtubers I realized that I did not order enough bundles, so I did have to go through my local hair store and get some clip-ins. I did still get Remy Brazilian, whatever you want to call it, clip-ins from them. Um, so this is just a trial and error. Let's see how it comes out.
Um, if you want to see how much, if I get any shedding with this, I this is how much. So it's not, I'm not shedding a lot, in my opinion, especially for me to be natural. Um, do I have problems with keeping my hair moisturized? No, with this color. I just have to do it very often, let's just say that. Um, before I was colored, I just colored my hair once every two weeks. Now I have to wash and do it every week. And when if you want to choose to have straight hair and do a flat iron, I mean, that's just too much work. So now I'm working my way towards the back. I will braid my hair off camera, but then I will come back and show you my braiding. Uh, that's better. I'm tired, so I'm not going to separate it. Just see how it goes. And my back is going to be braided anyway. I just need some stretch time because I do not want to add any weave to it. I don't need any weave added to it. And again, my middle of my hair is so coarse. So I'm not going to lie, that, that kind of hurts. Um, I don't know if I put protective on this part. Something's going on. I don't know if it's just thick. No. I want to tell you guys now. My son asked, can he go outside? Okay. Um. Okay. So, there I go again. Making sure it's on the temperature. I'm holding it this way. Because my hair is so thick, the comb attachment will come off. It doesn't hurt as much, so yeah, I guess the lotion is less. Hope you get to go down. Work on these ends. I'm going from the middle of my hair to the outside of my hair and you see me squinching because it's just like that thick I can tell that it's loosening up now the thickness is coming away which means it's getting straighter This is why I don't want to get a um, Brazilian blowout or whatever you guys call it. It's because I know they're going to have to use a lot of heat because my hair is so thick and it's already colored. So to put my hair, this is why I don't want to get a Brazilian blowout if you didn't hear me. Because my hair is so thick and it's already colored and I'm afraid they're going to use way too much heat. Um, This is a blood in the back. I will show you the total amount of shed hair throughout this whole process in just a second. It looks like my battery is dying already and I switch batteries so I have no clue what's wrong with this camera. But anyway, this is, I'm just showing you my blowout process, I guess. I will show you my, I will upload the braid out. Off camera, I will braid my hair. 
and then I will um, show the finishing. I'm just putting the lotion all through my hair. Because I found that when I was blow drying it, that one part in the back with no lotion, it was hard. It was, it was, my hair wasn't hard, it was just difficult. So I'm putting the lotion, splitting my hair, making sure the lotion is all the way through. Um, you may have to stay tuned for part two video and part three. This is just the blow drying process. I am going to split this up again into two sections of blow drying because my hair is that thick. Um, clip it off. And shed hair removed from the blow dryer. Find a comfortable way to hold this blow dryer. Remove the shedded hair. Come back up to the top. Clip off the hair already blow dried. Whew. As you can see, again, this is a lot of work. I'm going to keep stressing that. Process. Let me take all of it down so you can see it. Okay. 
kind of comb it out a little so you can see it. But see, my hair is so thick, I didn't even feel that one in the back. As you can see, I'm combing through it. The back probably can still get a little drier, but since I'm doing a whatever I'm doing. Okay, this is my hair all blow dried. So back. Can you see it? Sides. Can I show you the length? Show you the length on the sides. This side. I can't show you the length in the back because I can't. 